Hello everyone, my name is Pat and I work as the Assistant Community Curator at Abbey House Museum. Now, this presentation is all about the area of Leeds known as Kirkstall. If you've lived in Kirkstall, if you've worked in Kirkstall, played in Kirkstall, visited Kirkstall, if you grew up and moved away, this presentation is all about you. In 2021, we are planning to embark upon a new project to gather objects, stories and memories from the residents of Kirkstall or anyone with a lasting relationship with it about living in Kirkstall past and present. We hope to display some of these either in a physical exhibition or online, depending what the year holds for us. Kirkstall has long been in the centre of a vibrant community. The first community we know much about is the community of monks. And still, people have a great connection to the Abbey, but the aim of this project is to look beyond our museum sites and out to the wider area. We want to explore areas like business and work. We know lots about different companies and institutions in the area, from Kirkstall Brewery and Kirkstall Forge with their roots stretching back to the 19th century and even further than that. But what about the people who work there and their stories? What were they like to work in? Have you got memories of them? Perhaps you remember the old police station near the traffic lights or have a relative who worked there. Did you commute to Kirkstall for work purposes? What was your job and what are your memories of it? Do you have colleagues who became lifelong friends and do you still keep in touch? We're equally keen to talk to businesses in Kirkstall today. What does it mean to work in Kirkstall in 2021? To those of you growing up now in Kirkstall or who may have grown up in and around here and maybe attended school here or played in the Abbey Park, what was it like? Where did you go on a Saturday with friends? Maybe to the Abbey Picture House which closed in 1960. Perhaps you attended guides or scouts too in the area. Here we have some pictures of St Stephen's School in the 1890s and from the 1930s. But we don't really have anything more recent. And one of the things we want to try address is some of these gaps in our collections. The more recent past, living memory and the present of course. You might have attended lots of events over the years. Either small scale, perhaps a bonfire supper like the one on the left here or on a larger scale. Of course, lots has happened at the Abbey over the years, concerts of live music, plays, and we would love to collect any memories of the Kirkstall Festival, which has been running for 40 years. We're particularly interested in memories of this, as it's so central a part of the Kirkstall community. Maybe you're involved in the festival, or have been in the past, or did you attend every year that you were able to? What are the highlights for you of Kirkstall as a cultural venue? somewhere to attend lots of interesting things. It doesn't have to be an event, of course. Memories of Kirkstall nightlife, eating out and taking out, dancing or going to the pub or cinema, are all equally welcome. Maybe you met friends to go on a night out. Did you used to get the tram, drive? Or, if it was on your doorstep, did you just walk? Kirkstall has a proud sporting history too, from rugby and cricket to tennis courts and cycle shops. And of course, there's the Leisure Centre for swimming and much more. Its opening featured on this early copy of Kirkstall Matters. Maybe you've played team sports in the area, or you've been part of a running group or a keep fit group. We're keen to have ways of capturing these different stories, from oral histories to objects, but also photographs, which can help capture key moments, such as the excavations at Kirkstall Abbey in the 50s and 60s, but also personal moments. Maybe there's one of you stood outside the first house you owned, or with a group of mates in Kirkstall, or maybe on your wedding day. Sometimes we do get personal photos donated to us, like this lovely image of the Hardesty family standing outside their fish and chip shop at the junction of Morris Lane and Kirkstall Lane in the 1920s, a moment in time that's hard to recreate. But these are the exception. So one thing we'd like to do is make a call out for images on any of the themes we've just mentioned. These could be scanned by us or sent in by yourselves digitally. And we're asking, what has living in the Kirkstall community meant to you in the past year? And how has it changed your relationship with the place you live in? Perhaps it's more important to you now than ever before, as our worlds have become more local in many ways. So, where do you come in? Well, if you think you may have stories or memories from Kirkstall that we could share, photographs you'd be happy for us to display, objects you could lend, that might shine a light on living or working in Kirkstall and fill some of the gaps we have bridging past and present, please get in touch and we'd love to hear from you. 
in whatever form you find easiest. You can email patrick.born at leeds.gov.uk, tweet at curator Pat, ring or text 077 122 14269. We hope to see you in person again this year. This project is really about your voices, as it's the people that make the place. And depending on the scale of your response and what the bigger picture is this year, we want to work towards an exhibition of your memories, objects and photos, either in person or online, or perhaps both, to be able to tell all those individual stories that go to make up a place, or as many as possible. Thanks for listening.